Today I'm at the Sutro Baths in San Francisco, California. This is all that remains of what was a fairly majestic building and structure. The Sutro Baths were a large, privately owned, public saltwater swimming pool complex, and it's located here at Land's End area of the Outer Richmond District in western San Francisco. Originally built in 1896, they were located north of Ocean Beach in the Cliff House, as well as the Seal Rocks, and west of what is now Sutro Heights Park. The Sutro Baths first opened in March of 1896, and it was the world's largest indoor swimming pool, and it was open to the public. They were built on the western side of the city by Adolf Sutro, a wealthy entrepreneur and former mayor of the city. Adolf Sutro owned the Cliff House above, and the structure was located just to the north in a small beach inlet below the house itself. Sutro was a German-American engineer, politician, and philanthropist, and was also the mayor of San Francisco from 1895 until 1897. Although he was born in Germany, he arrived in California, specifically San Francisco, in 1851, and held a number of positions, eventually owning several tobacco shops. He left San Francisco in 1860, though, after silver was found in Nevada, and he planned to sell cigars to the miners. However, he came up with an idea for a tunnel to drain the water from the mines in order to remove the possibility of flooding, which would later be known as the Sutro Tunnel. He eventually created a company based around the Sutro Tunnel and was given an exclusive charter to build it by the U.S. Congress. It could drain four million gallons of water daily and was rented by mine owners at an average of $10,000 a day. His wealth increased by both the tunnel as well as large real estate investments in San Francisco. He became an entrepreneur and public figure after returning from Comstock. This land, including Mount Sutro, Land's End, here where the cliffs and the Sutro Baths stood, as well as Mount Davidson, were all owned by Sutro. Two separate rail lines, the Ferries and Cliff House Railroad, ran along the cliffs and brought citizens of San Francisco into the Land's End area so that they could utilize the baths. They became a popular destination despite the remote location but it became even more popular because of the low entry fee for visiting the baths, as well as riding the railroad that brought you to them. In its heyday, the structure had over 100,000 square feet of glass. It utilized over 600 tons of iron and 3.5 million board feet of lumber, as well as 10,000 cubic yards of concrete. As the tide would rise, it would flow directly into the pools, creating a constant cycle of fresh ocean water equivalent to about 2 million U.S. gallons within an hour. As the tide would go down, a pump built inside a cave at sea level would switch on and would fill the tank at 6,000 U.S. gallons a minute, recycling all the water that was in the pool structure within five hours. The facility itself had six saltwater pools and one freshwater pool, and they were 500 feet long and 254 feet wide holding over 1.8 million U.S. gallons. The salt water and fresh spring water pools were heated to varying degrees. They also had slides, swinging rings, and one springboard as well for entertainment purposes. Within the complex, there was a museum showing stuffed and mounted animals, historic artifacts, artwork, a lot of which Adolf Sutro had acquired from an estate sale. It also had a 2,700 seat amphitheater and club rooms, as well as 517 private dressing rooms and surrounded by a concert hall and museum stocked with treasures that Sutro had collected from his travels. Unfortunately, due to high operating and maintenance costs, the Sutro baths struggled for years, and eventually a part of it was partitioned to become an ice skating rink, separating what was then becoming the dilapidated swimming pools until 1964 when the property was sold in the hopes of turning it into a high-rise apartment complex. The structure burned down to its concrete foundation in June of 1966, supposedly by an arsonist, and all that remains is what's in front of you now. The developers and planners who had intended to build apartment complexes at the Baths took their insurance money and these are the ruins that have been left behind, now part of the Golden Gate National Recreation Area in the Sutro Historic District. Thanks for watching, and as always, until next time, get lost.